Hello, I'm Daphne Good, and welcome to Go Island from the Cowichan Valley. On today's show, introducing a new brand, the Cowichan Performing Arts Center. It's a big anniversary year at Carlson School of Dance. And nominate a special person for a black tie award. All that and more on Go Island. Today we visit a well-established business in the Cowichan Valley. Carlson's School of Dance is celebrating a 60th anniversary year. Winner of Duncan's Got Talent three times in a row, Vance. How exciting for you, and you haven't been dancing that long? No, just three years, actually. Pretty cool. So what is it that you love about dance here at Carlson's? Um, I love the environment and like the teachers and all the kids who come here and just what I can learn. What does dance do for you? Does it help, I'm sure, with your physical activity, but what else? Is it good for your mind as well? Yeah, it uh, gives me something to do, like come up with new moves and just training and getting together with friends and dancing is always fun, so yeah. What would you like to do in the future with your dance? Are you going to go professional, do you think? Yeah, I'm going to try. I'd like to uh, teach dance and um, tour and uh, perform all around the world if I can. The main goal is keep the students busy and learn dance in any dance form they want. Lots of adult classes, 11 different adult classes, and that's a big thing right now. It's similar to making wine, but this Italian-inspired culinary delight is a rarity in Canada. Karen Elgersma gets the rub on this handmade vinegar next. We'll take a short break here at Carlson's School of Dance. There's a lot going on in the Cowichan Valley coming up after the break. Lots of details on that, and James Green is going to hit the streets in Victoria to find out what jewels are cool. Margaret Carlson started Carlson's School of Dance in 1954 in the attic of her house and it is still thriving over half a century later. And these are Margaret Carlson's bronzed ballet shoes from when she was four years old. Her daughter, Gwen, just gave them to me the other day. This is the 60th anniversary year now of Carlson's School of Dance. Do you think Margaret Carlson's philosophy is still alive? Oh, I believe it is. Um, we have four owners here at Carlson's and we all taught with and for Margaret Carlson prior to when she passed away. And her philosophy was very much that a studio here should be a bit of a family atmosphere or maybe very much a family atmosphere. You came here to, to learn, to get your discipline, but also to feel safe and to have a family feeling when you came. We have hip hop and ballet from the Royal Academy of Dance Ballet. We also have jazz and modern jazz, which is quite different. Uh, musical theater, tap. We have stretch and strength classes that are going on throughout the different ages. And uh, we have many students that take all of those and some that only take one. We also have Zumba, um, which uh, really gets, especially adults, and we have children doing Zumba, which is a, a wonderful form, a mixture of Cuban and African music. Oh. This institution that Margaret Carlson started is still very much here and going strong. Teaching at Carlson's has been an amazing experience. There's a, a wonderful family feeling with all the adult classes going on. I was inspired to return to dancing. It's been a lot of fun and it's made me a better teacher. I've been dancing at Carlson's for the last 15 years and last fall Christine and I completed our Royal Academy of Dance Advanced 2 exam which was a really big accomplishment for us. There are curling centers all over Vancouver Island. And for some young curlers, 2015 got off to a perfect start. Kevin Chirac caught up with some junior curlers who added some new hardware to their trophy case. 
The Canadian Junior Championships run until February 1st, and you can keep up to date with Team Henderson at curling.ca. Now, after the break, one of the best ways to spend time at breakfast in the Cowichan Valley. Thanks for being with us on Go Island. See you next time. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J.